Here's another one that maybe is not so obvious, right? So we get a fire inside a structure that's creating a high pressure, so it's pushing smoke out of every crack it can possibly push smoke out of to a point. And that point is when the fire runs out of air and begins to decay and the temperatures go down, the pressures in the structure actually go negative. So it might be 500 degrees inside that house. It's going to have a negative pressure because it's trying to suck oxygen from anywhere it possibly can. In the grand scheme of things, these are things that we would interpret as backdraft conditions, where you see some smoke pulsing in and out, and then all of a sudden, you've got nothing showing whatsoever. So the message here is, if you get on the scene and you've got nothing showing, don't get complacent. If you've got smoke in the area, you may have a fire that was in the growth stage, ran out of oxygen, went into the decay stage, and it's waiting to get opened up. And the moment it gets opened up, it's going to get the oxygen at once. And because of the timelines we're dealing with here, you're not going to get a backdraft. You're not going to get an explosion unless it's been burning for a really, really long time. But air is going to go in, fire is going to grow, it's going to go to flashover. Smoke tunneling, rapid air movement. You can learn a lot from the front door. If you force the front door and fresh air is pulling past you at about 12 to 15 miles an hour, you have a ventilation limited fire. That is not the one where you want to be getting ahead of the hose line. That's the one you want to control the front door on. The reason that air is moving so fast is because that fire is so starved for oxygen. Don't give it to it until you're ready to go with the hose line. The other thing you want to read from the front door, where's the smoke go? In this case, you get fresh air that tunnels in about the bottom third of the doorway. We call that the neutral plane as it cuts across the doorway. That is a really good sign that the fire is on the same level that you're on. You force that front door and you get smoke out top to bottom and the smoke doesn't tunnel in through the bottom, fire's probably below you. You've got a basement fire. You force that front door open, you get lazy smoke and the smoke starts to move towards the top of the door. The neutral plane is above the front door. You got a fire on the second floor. There's a lot you can learn by watching what the smoke is doing at that front door. And it's not magic.